Hockey fans watched in anticipation this May as the Los Angeles Kings had an unprecedented playoff run. The Kings started off as the eighth seeded team in the Western Conference to win their way to being league champions. One player played an integral role in leading the Kings to victory. Stanley Cup winner and Conn Smythe recipient, Connecticut's own Jonathan Quick. So where did you grow up playing youth hockey? I played in Hamden growing up and then uh, I played for about five years afterwards with Min Fairfield, five or six years and, uh, until high school. And who was your greatest inspiration growing up? Uh, Mike Richter was my favorite player, watching him play and obviously they, they won the cup there in 94. So it was pretty cool not only to watch him win it, but you see he was playing against Marty Berder in the, the conference finals. So I was watching all those games and to be able to make my way to the finals and play against Berder 15, 20 years later, it's pretty amazing. And how did you decide on being a goalie? I played street hockey when I was younger. I, I always played goalie and I really enjoyed it. So I told my parents I wanted to play hockey. For, I wanted to play goalie for hockey. You know, we went down to the, the rec center and they had some equipment that I could borrow for the year and you know, I started playing there. What did your parents think about you wanting to be a goalie? They didn't like it. They saw how much I enjoyed doing it, playing street hockey in front of the house. So they obviously didn't want to deprive me of that. So they got on board. What was your fondest memory from youth hockey? We went to the Nationals a couple times with Mid Fairfield. Those are always special trips. We didn't win any of them, but we always did well. We had a good team and it was always really exciting going to play in those games and you felt like there were scouts in the stands and you're only like 10 years old, but kids talk about it and probably wasn't true, but you get excited, you're nervous for those games and I think those are the most exciting games as a little kid. Including yourself, there have been a lot of great players that have come out of the Avon Old Farms. Can you tell me how your time there shaped the athlete that you are today? It brings a lot of discipline, not only into hockey, but your life in general. The school did a great job of preparing me for college. As far as hockey goes, you look at some of the guys that have played there, Brian Leach, and then we had eight or nine guys at my senior year that I think played Division I college hockey. To be able to do that, it just says how great of an organization and school that is. And, how well of a job they do preparing guys for the college level, not only in hockey but in school as well. Also, you look at some of the relationships that you make along the way there, and it's pretty special. How would you describe your unique style of goaltending? You gotta stop the puck, obviously. That's the first thing you have to do. And you need a lot of technique in your game to keep you composed, and you don't start getting too crazy with uh, how you do it. But at the same time, I feel like you just gotta find a way to get in front of the puck. There's a lot of good shooters out there, and some nights you're not gonna have it, but you know you try to be as consistent as possible. So, would you recommend your style to Connecticut hockey players? Yeah, absolutely. If you look at guys like Dominic Hasek and like Mike Richter, they've always played kind of similar, just kind of find ways to stop the puck. So the Kings struggled through the regular season and barely made it to the playoffs. However, you did manage to come together as a team and get through the playoffs, succeed, and then win the Stanley Cup. Tell me how you guys managed to pull it all together. The biggest thing is confidence. I think we went in the first series and we were playing Vancouver and we knew how great of a team they were. They made it to the finals last year. and We won a couple games on the road against them and I think the team really kind of fed off that, got a lot of confidence. You saw it carry over into the, the next three games against them and then into the St. Louis series. And everyone had a feeling like if we could beat them, why can't we beat anyone else? And everyone played with a lot more confidence. We went into games telling ourselves we're going to win the game, feeling like we're going to win the game no matter what the situation was. We saw a few games later in the playoffs where we'd come back from a goal and maybe earlier in the season we wouldn't have been able to do that because we didn't have the confidence that we formed over the first series or the second series. Can you describe what it was like to hoist that Stanley Cup for the first time? I think the, the initial feeling was like relief because we had the opportunity to do it a couple times at home and then on the road in New Jersey. Obviously we didn't lose belief and everyone felt like if we kept playing our game we were going to get the bounce and we were going to win. But I think the first was relief and then excitement, so many different emotions going at once. So I, I, I guess you can't really pick one and say that's what you felt, but at the end of the day, you're just so proud of the team and the group that we worked with for not the nine months leading up to that point, and now you're just happy to be part of that team. On the same day that you hoisted that Stanley Cup, you won the Conn Smythe Trophy. How did you get to be so successful in your postseason? For a goaltender to be successful, he needs 20 guys in front of him to play you know, really well. That's what I got for all season, all playoff guys played really well, especially in our own zone, which made my job a bit easier than it's supposed to be. But obviously with the success in the postseason, it's credit to that. You need to catch a couple bounces, you need to get very lucky at times, and I felt like we, we were able to catch those bounces and 
as a five-man unit in front of me. His guys played great. Our PK was great all, all playoff, all season long. All those things factor into your goaltender having success. And on my end of it, obviously, it's you got to work hard. If you don't work hard, you're not going to catch any bounces. I know the effort that I put in the off season and all season long, and I think it's along with the team's effort. I think that it's what you get out of it. Now, being a goalie, you have to pick yourself up and dust yourself off. How in the world do you do that after a goal gets scored on you? Every goalie's given up eight goals in a game. Every goalie's had shutout. You know, so it's you've been through it. You know what to expect. You know you're going to give up bad goals at times. You know you're going to give up goals that you had no chance on. So you just roll with the, the bounces, and at the end of the day, there's going to be another shot, and you got to do what you can to stop that one. And what advice do you have for Connecticut hockey players? You just got to work. I think that's the biggest thing. Like I said earlier, you, you asked of the success that we had as a team and as uh, me individually, and it, all my answers were based around hard work and you know how hard the team worked and personally how hard I worked. And if you don't want to put the effort in, it's not going to bounce your way. So with all the media attention that you've been getting, your your daughter has been quite a bit into it with you too as well, right? Yeah, she managed to make her way into one of the post-game interviews. It was right after we won the cup and she had an M&M &M problem. She ate a little too many at once and, you know, I kind of saved the day, I guess. I, I got them out, and, but it, it, it is cool. You, you think about the experience of not only being able to win the Stanley Cup, but then, uh, like, to have your family involved in it and especially my daughter, like, you know, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, like, get to show her that video. Thanks to John Quick for sharing his hockey experiences and advice with us today. I'm Kristen Liebisch. Thanks for watching. This has been Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey.